The pages, which were supposedly made by Gold Consulting, uh, we're, we're, we're told were actually um, were actually made in Budapest. And the in-between person who did the arrangement for this was a person who I thought was called Teresa, but in fact it turns out it's called Cristina Barsoni uh, Archiacono, uh, this person here on the photograph. Uh, but she today has said, I don't make the pages, I'm just the intermediate. I think you got that wrong. So there's, so there's more... Um, uncertainty about where these pages come from, who made the pages, what they are. Pages go back a long way. Uh, I think they go back to about 1921. Bleepers or beepers, I think they were, they, 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 they were called. And they became really common in the 1980s and 1990s, uh, where they can be just dropped onto a belt uh, in a shirt pocket, and they can let people know that somebody's thinking about them. Uh, the Detroit Police Department had them in 1921, um, and 1949 they were patented for the New York City's Jewish Hospital by Al Gross, um, and his pages then became quite a quite a common feature. In 1959, Motorola produced a radio uh, pager. Um, and, and, and that then became the, the system long before texting, long before uh, mobile phones. Uh, this was the, the the device for making contact between one person and another, I suppose, uh, partic particularly if, there's, if the business is on many floors and spread across many places. A pager was a way to keep in contact. But the, the these pagers, which were which were delivered to Hezbollah operatives with about three grams of explosives placed um, into in, in, into the body of these pages and then presumably into the walkie-talkies. This is um, extraordinarily sophisticated and and about a, a infiltration into the chain of supply where it be, it seem, seemingly has become impossible to identify who who uh, who 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 was actually at fault? Who was actually involved in arranging this? It doesn't seem that this lady was was responsible. She's she was educated in Britain in physics, uh, studying in University College London between two thousand and two and two thousand and six, and she went on to the London School of Economics as well, um, and the University of London going on to continuing to study in 2017. Uh, she also worked with the European Commission as an evaluation expert and a groundwater resource manager for UNESCO. But she's being deeply evasive about whether or not she, uh, what, what, what her links to uh, either Hezbollah or Mossad might be. And... Uh, I, I think I think it might prove to be almost impossible to identify who actually is responsible for this. So far, the Israelis have certainly not put up their hand, though that you know the Cicero idea, Cui Bono, um, is, is 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 screaming their their involvement. But so far, there is no there is no evidence to say that this is an Israeli plan, or indeed that this particular person who um, subcontracted the, uh, the, the, the pages from gold is responsible for anything. Um, she's the intermediary, so presumably she knows who she was an intermediary for. Uh, that so far hasn't come to light.